Three years ago, I was traveling from Indonesia to the Middle East for a business trip. And before my flight, I activated my roaming package on my mobile phone provider. So after hours of flight, as soon as I got arrived, I expected to make a phone call home. I expected to browse the internet, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. I was panicked, I was frustrated, and what I did, I contacted my mobile phone provider using the social media messaging app. I complained, but through my panic, it took me more than an hour to get a response from the contact provider. And imagine, I'm just one of their customers. There might be millions of people out there. And what if there's a way for customers like us to connect with businesses using our natural language, our everyday language through the social media messaging apps and receive an instant intelligent response in no time. So meet artificial intelligence. AI or artificial intelligence is the way machine that copies human intelligence, be it for visual perception, language translation, visual recognition, voice recognition, and many more. So AI is not something new. It's been around us everywhere. How AI works is actually how the machine creates prediction from the input and based on the trading data sets and producing the outputs that helps us to make decisions, that helps us to make judgments. So perhaps one of you here, you have seen AI in the movies, like in Iron Man, having Jarvis as your virtual assistant that can do anything. Or you watch Star Wars, there's C-3PO, so the AI, what we see in the movies, that can do anything we want, can obey to our commands, it's still way, way, way behind. And we are here, so the technology is here, but it's not there yet. So what we have these days is the narrow AI, where AI could complete like one single task based on what it has learned. It's not there yet. The way that AI could think themselves and create decisions on their own. We are 30 years away from there. So what is the connection between artificial intelligence and the problem that I shared earlier? Enter conversational AI. That's exactly the application of AI that allows us to interact with machine using natural language, using our everyday language. Conversational AI often for, comes in the form of chatbots or virtual assistant, online, on WhatsApp, on Facebook Messenger, and any other messaging applications. Now, I don't have to worry anymore because my mobile phone provider could answer my questions in no time with intelligent response. So talking about AI, AI has a couple of subsets. For example, machine learning, natural language processing, speech recognition, computer vision, expert system, and many more. But today, I'm gonna deep dive more into natural language processing because I believe language and AI are the best human inventions after electricity in the history. And especially when we talk about Indonesian language, it's super unique. Although it has the normal alphabets, but there's a gap a gap between the formal and informal language. Just for example, when we say the first person pronoun in English, we only have I, which is only one. When we talk about the casual language of how Indonesian texts for the first person pronoun, you can find 13 types of it. Like saya, sye, gue, ge, we, wa, aku, aku, and many more. With all the abbreviations, the slangs, that how we text unstructured, with slangs, with abbreviations, and many more. So here's an example how natural language processing works. This is what I do when I text my mobile phone provider using the every language. 
aku mau beli paket yang 10 gigaan buat nonton YouTube sama Facebookan, tapi yang harganya di bawah 100 ribu dong. In English, I want to buy an internet package for 10 gigabytes so I can watch YouTube, access Facebook, but below 100,000 of rupiah. So how AI will process this? So AI, the LNLP here, will use entity recognition to detect what are the entities inside the language. It can detect the product type, the allowance, the content, even the price. And not only that, it knows the intent is purchase. And the confidence rate is quite high, almost 100%, because AI is prediction machine. Including the sentiment, it's neutral. It's not positive, not negative. And the way I text, it's casual, it's not formal. It's how AI works, especially in natural language processing. So some of you might have experienced these virtual assistants. The big tech tycoons out there, they have invested heavily in a virtual assistant. Back then, we type using keyboards. We use mouse to clicks. And then we use the keyboard on our smartphones to chat, to type in, to swipe, to click. And now, we have voice as the most human natural interaction. We have Alexa by Amazon, Siri from Apple, or for example, assistant on Google. And it's among us already. It's part of our daily lives. But talking about AI, some people are afraid of that. AI might take over humanity. AI might replace our jobs. For example, even the tech leaders like Elon Musk, he was afraid that AI could destroy humanity. It will take over our jobs. The same thing that President Putin of Russia, he thought that the country who possess the most advanced AI will rule the world. For example, how AI using the automation to drive the military vehicles. Can you imagine that? But what we often, remember, often forget and what we tend to forget is that AI is just a technology. What matters is we as a human. Technology is always double sword. It can create impact, but it can also hit us. So by the end of the day, it's us who control how we utilize technology, be it for the greater good or for the worse. And we have seen that technology improve, improves our daily lives. Through the applications, we can book a restaurant, we can hail a ride, we can shop, and many more. The same thing with AI. And we believe that AI here to help us lift up our mundane tasks, to free us for the repetitive jobs. It's not about replacing human per se. We believe in the combination between human and machine, and we believe that AI is here to help us to be more, to do more in an intelligent way. And eventually, we believe that conversational AI is the key to unlock the future. Thank you very much.